All right. Well, if we have ever had anybody on this red carpet who knows about more love, it is the next author you will meet, Karen Laurie. Come out here and give me a hug. I am so excited to introduce you to the author of Chronic Pleasure, Use the Law of Attraction to Transform Fatigue and Pain into Vibrant Energy. And there is no one who radiates vibrant energy and chronic pleasure more than Karen Laurie. So you have a lot of lifelong secrets in this book. Tell us about it. Why did you write it? And what will people find inside? I wrote the book because I wished that this book had been out when I was not having the chronic pleasure that I have now. Which is so hard to imagine. Yes. Um, <laughs> but I used to fall asleep like 15 times a day, and I used to have a lot of pain. And I know that there's so many people out there that have emotional pain or physical pain or uh, emotional fatigue or physical fatigue. And I just thought, oh, my gosh, if I could heal myself, then it would be so great to be able to offer that to others. Mm. And... A book? Why a book? Why did you decide I will put that into a book? I have to say that it feels really good to write. Mm -hmm. And it feels really good to distill all these things that I had picked up or learned or had uh, sort of received from the universe. And as I wrote, I felt myself getting more clear about what it is that I, I really did that brought me this healing. So Yeah, yeah. I, I watched that happen in you too. It's almost like... You went from pixels to like a very solid picture yeah. as, as you wrote more. Some of some of your training, some of the messages or the background in the book, can you share a little bit more about your background? Sure. Um, I grew up studying psychobiology, which is how the mind affects the body. That's what I studied in college. And then I am friends with Deepak Chopra, and he teaches that as well. And I've been meditating since 1991, and I meditate like a lot Um, so that's been something, and then I've also done Abraham, and I've also, um, just read a lot of different spiritual books, but then I found that there were things that I was discovering that I wasn't hearing Hmm. from other spiritual teachers, so that's why I also wrote this book, because I've had so much clarity come to me. I have a, I've always had this kind of, um, ability to communicate with, um, non-physical energies, and so I do. And yeah. I and I've stuff. watched it and it's magical. Um, I have to say one of my like favorite things about your work is it's so grounded in science and yet so spiritual. It's almost like the extremes at both ends. Most people think either or. Mm. Um, and you're like the max of both turned up to 11. I've learned <laughs> so much just about like hormones and the body. And what's my favorite hormone? That you- oh, it's uh, anandamide. It's yes. a neurotransmitter. Uh. Yeah, it's a neurotransmitter. Yes, I want more of that. So it's really not an either or. Mm -mm. When people uh, pick up chronic pleasure, maybe somebody who's dealing with fatigue or pain, if they are biased on one side, if they're more oriented towards science or more oriented towards spirituality, what would you tell them? What would you want them to know? I would say that if you put the practices that I talk about in the book into practice and have your own experience, you would be a scientist of your own experience and Mm -hmm. you would be able to understand whether something was working for you or not. And through that, you would, I mean, so many people have told me that they've tried the different practices and they felt, you know, the love of source energy flowing through their heart or they felt their body tingling with joy or they felt that they were receiving the love that I wrote the book in. And so you, you can really um, have your, you know, be your own scientist and experiment with the practices and see what, see what happens. I love that. Um, so Aria from Santa Barbara, California, wants to know, why did you choose to write a book as your strategy of impact? Well, I had already been coaching people, and what the book showed me was that I had so many more practices that I had discovered or created that I wasn't bringing all of them into my coaching. And so when I saw that, I got really clear that I needed to be giving people more so that they could really have um, chronic pleasure in every every area of their lives. So emotional, mental, uh, gustatory, meaning food you eat, water you drink, um, Pleasure in every sense, you know, visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory pleasure, just pleasure 
in every sense. And there's so many people that that have they've got a great attitude in life, but they're just missing um, some of the the real areas that you can find that pleasure. Mm -hmm. So most people do not find writing a book pleasurable. Most people find it to be torture, or even think about writing to be torture. They, they, I think they imagine the uh, like bottles of alcohol and alone in a room and drinking yourself and writing. <laughs> There's a lot of like myths and culture sure. about it. And one of the things that I always say is that I don't care if you, I know you do, but I don't care if you write your book from a place of joy. It's just that I know it's going to make such a bigger impact if you are writing from a place of joy and ease than if you're trying to beat yourself up into writing. So I have a two-part question. One part is for me and one part is from Leticia from Florida. My part is what feeling did you have in the process of writing your book with us? And Leticia asks, what was the feeling you had once you completed the book and said, I'm done? Well, it was the same feeling in a way, because I just, I feel in general, and I felt while I was writing, this complete uh, love from the universe pouring into me all the time. And I feel my love for myself, but my love for my readers and my love for the world and the planet. And then when I wrote the book, um, I, I felt that, but more. <laughs> because the process of the writing causes you to transform. You know, while you write, you become more of who you are. And so that, um, that made my love grow and made my communion with this um, divine and beautiful universe flow more, more fully. And what I want to acknowledge for Lethesia, but also for you, is that was a choice. Mm -hmm. You could have chosen to be confused or stuck. Like a lot of people think they are confused, like it's happened to them, mm -hmm. like a meteor fell on their head, like I'm confused or I'm stuck. And I watched you, but I also watched how this affects everyone around you, is that you choose over and over again to be curious or love filled or but it it's a conscious choice to show up as the most loving version of yourself which makes it like impossible to be around you and not feel more love so yeah. I appreciate that about you oh that feels really beautiful thank you I want to show everyone your book uh, which is an explosion of love <laughs> <laughs> that's what I loved when I saw the cover Karen Laurie is the author of chronic pleasure use the law of attraction to transform fatigue and pain into vibrant energy make sure that you get her book on Amazon today